Oops, I did it again. Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to part three of my wash day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final part of today's wash day. In part one, I did a pre-pool with aloe vera gel from the aloe plants in my backyard. In part two, I did a protein treatment with Afogee. And then I deep conditioned with the Mish Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. And now in part three, I'm going to use some styling products from my stash of products that are already opened. I'm going to be doing twists today using the following products. The As I Am Classic Line Coco Shea Spray Moisturizer. This is a very watery, liquidy spray. I'm about maybe, maybe a third of the way through the bottle, y'all. This is very light and watery. It has a light, pleasant scent. It has coconut oil, African shea butter, and vegetable glycerin. So, if you have qualms with vegetable glycerin, this might not be the product for you. And then I'm going to twist my hair with the As I Am Classic Line Twist Defining Cream for shiny, smooth twist and twist outs. And this has sunflower oil, castor oil, amla, sugar beet root, and phytosterols. And I have not that much. Hopefully I have enough to twist my hair. So I'm going to be using fairly large twists. And this smells similar to the Coco Shea spray. I did spray this section of my hair with some water, but I'm going to go in, of course, with the Coco Shea spray. Shake it up and I'm going to be fairly liberal with the spray. I think the last time I used this, I did use the Twist Defining Cream with it. I'm always nervous when I use creams, even though I've used this particular product multiple times before, but I'm always just kind of nervous when I use creams because I prefer gels as a styler. And y'all, I'm spraying enough to where um, I'm tasting this on my tongue, so I probably should just, that might be enough. It's like, um, it's a medium consistency as far as like feeling light or heavy. It's kind of like in the middle. And let me just run this along the part line. All right, here is the first twist. This application is very smooth. I didn't feel like I have to go back through and apply any more water or any more of the Coco Shea spray. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, like part the whole section, spray down the whole section with the Coco Shea spray do an initial tap of the roots with the twist defined cream and then wait hold on let me make sure i'm saying this right twist defining cream and then once i part my hair go back and do each section you look now I'm, I'm to the bottom and look at the difference i'm not gonna fight with that i'm just gonna twist that around my finger but see when i do stuff like that then that make me want to you know put a perm rod or flexi rod or whatever at the end so that's that and then i just have the middle section all right here is these three the first three hopefully you can see them all right y'all it seemed like it been like a 400 billion hours but Maybe it just been like 40 minutes. <laughs> Let me show you these twists. See if I can turn around without busting my knee. No, I can't. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> All right, these are the twists. And I did them using the As I Am Classic Line Coco Shea Spray. And I use that kind of like as my leave-in. And then for the styler, I use the As I Am Classic line Twist Defining Cream. And y'all, look, I still, I tried to use it all. I thought I wasn't going to have enough. And I told y'all, this happens to me every time. 
So now I have enough and I'm probably going to make this, you know, I don't know, maybe I could use it for, I don't know, a bun, a ponytail or something or whatever. But I have enough left to do something with it. So I'm not throwing this away, y'all. We got one more use left. I am going to put perm rods at the end. So in the front, and let me look at the mirror behind me to make sure. Because I did, like I twist them around my finger a little bit, but... I can't trust that because these twists have come undone on me before. So for the twists in the front, I'm going to use these smaller purple rods. And I'm not going to twist it up all the way, but I'm going to do it, you know, a, a decent a decent amount up. So these purple ones in the front. And then I have the orange ones in the back. And I'm telling y'all, every time I use these, especially when I get under the dryer, which I'm not going to do, y'all. I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, I'll be back in an hour after I get under the dryer. It's way too hot. I'll probably have these twists for a couple days. They're going to air dry. And once I think they completely dry, then I'm going to come back and record um did i just have two on this side hold on oh yeah okay i guess i just had two so i'll do it but yeah i'll come back when i think that they are completely dry and we'll do the takedown that means that you'll probably see these twists in some other videos if i record something before i come back and record this takedown Maybe like a, a backyard shenanigans. Oh my good, y'all. I got something to tell y'all. But it's a gardening thing, so I'm going to save it for a backyard shenanigans video. But I got something to tell y'all. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I probably need to record that tomorrow. All right. And then, like I said, I'm going to take these larger orange ones to twist the back. Because I don't, I don't really like... The curl to be too tight and really I don't do these for the curl I do them so my twist don't come undone while my hair is drying because they will do that to me and I, I don't want that to happen y'all tell me what you think about the as I am classic line is anybody still using these products I know that double butter cream was hot for a minute I know that that was real famous. It might still be, y'all. Let me know. And, of course, I don't have enough of these. I'm going to have to group some of these together because I don't have enough. I only have three left. And I have a lot more than three twists. And I still have the blue. I have the blue and the red. I think the blue is like the dry, itchy scalp. And the red is luxe or luxury or something like that. I still have those lines of products to use also. But I am really, really, really trying to get through it. Like I said, at least 80% of the products that I already have open. All right, let me try again. And I only bust up my knees for y'all. Let me show you this 360. <laughs> I know I was. I missed a whole. I missed a whole thing. Let me. I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna combine this with this one. I think I was saying, and I didn't complete my thought. Every time I use these, and especially when I get under the dryer, so it might be the heat that like pops the rubber part. Or something it could be because these things are oh I've been having them like for years so maybe that have something to do with it but I lose <laughs> I lose like one or two every time I use these things maybe because I'm not gonna get under the dryer I might save these but I only have like a handful of the orange ones I have maybe a handful and a half 
of these purple ones. Let me see. And then I have some white ones and some gray ones. But I hardly ever use these because they just, they are too thin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are like three days after the end of the last recording. I wanted to make sure my hair was dry, y'all. That's, that's what it was. I wanted to make sure my hair was dry. And because I'm busy and I always have somewhere to go and something to do, I had to do the takedown without you. But I am here to show you the results. So this is like a step three of wash day, way back Wednesday, results and review of using my stash to present to the jury. Y'all, come on now. Give me credit for them combos. Combo, combo videos, combo. My hair is not moisturized. But I'm not sure how much you can really expect from this spray, the Coco Shea spray. It says it's a moisturizer. It does have coconut oil, African shea butter, and vegetable glycerin. But it is thin. It's not like 100% watery, but it's like 97% watery. It is a very thin product. I sprayed it all over my hair. I did spray water when my hair got dry, but I made sure I sprayed like a fair amount of the Coco Shea spray. The Coco Shea does smell good. It did provide some moisture for how thin it was, but it's definitely not something that you would use alone if you're trying to have moisturized hair for more than just a couple days. On top of that, of course, I style with the Twist Defining Cream. And like I said before, I believe I mentioned it. Y'all, I tried to use all of it. I still didn't. So I'm going to have to use this one more again. I definitely, I have the definition. Shine, I'm not going to say shine. I'm, I'm not going to say shine. I mean, my hair is not dried out. It doesn't feel dry, but it looks dry. It doesn't look shiny. So I'm not going to give it the points for shine, but I will definitely give it the points for definition. When I did the twist out, some twist I separated a lot and some I only separated a little. I was trying to compensate for any frizz. That may have been self-inflicted. That was on me, y'all. It wasn't the product. That was on me. And the fact that my hair have been in a twist for three days. And y'all know, if I don't do the twist the same day that my hair dry, it just never comes out looking like it did on the first day. I am the worst at, like, preserving styles once they done. But even, like, preserving the dried wet set before I do the style. Y'all, I just can't do it. I did put perm rods on the ends. I just grouped like a bunch of twists together. So at one point, I only had two. I just, all of the twists on this side, I put one. And then all of the twists on this side, I put the other one. And then I think yesterday, I put three. So I just, you know, divided the twists in three and kind of rolled them up. But that still, y'all, that didn't help. Because last night, I went to sleep with no perm rods. And you see, like, what happened. I do like this style, though. I like the way my hair looks. I wish it did have more shine. I wish it was more moisturized. But that could possibly be fixed with a thicker leave-in and then maybe a shine spray. Or if I would have separated my twist with um, a oil and used that for the takedown, that could have helped out. So overall, not, not bad. Not bad. I do like the results. It appears that this these products um, have produced like elongated curls. Because normally, uh, it's probably because my hair is getting longer. But normally when I do twist or plait or whatever, my hair usually, you know, it falls on the shoulder. This is just a little bit below that. One fact could be because my hair is growing. But the other fact could be maybe... For me, or for my hair, or just for the way that I use the products this time, they gave me more elongated curls instead of condensed and compacted curls. Either way, it's fine for me. It's just something that I noticed like just now looking at my hair after I took the twist out and did a little bit of separating. One note before I go, y'all take a look at these earrings. Let me get up a little bit closer to you. Y'all look at those earrings. These are beautiful earrings. 
I really like them, y'all. My mama gave me these earrings. She is like a guru and queen of jewelry and accessories and everything like that. I really like these earrings. And I don't know, let me come up. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually, I think this is like a flower or leaves or something. If you can see that, there's actually a design on this. And I just wanted to wear these earrings and just give my mama a shout out. You know, I really don't talk about my family too much like Harley at all. I believe in a video when I went home last year, I, I was with my dad doing part of the video at his house and you may have caught a glimpse of like the back of his head or something like that. But unless my family members specifically say, yes, I want to be in the video or even yes, I want to be mentioned on the channel. I, you know, I just, I try to keep them out of it. I try to keep them away from that. I try to keep them separate. I'm very just close in particular about my family and I could see myself reading something in the comments about a family member that I take the wrong way. Whether it was meant like that or not, I take the wrong way. And then, you know, that part of me that's not on YouTube for a purpose, come to YouTube and then, you know, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. So to avoid all of that, because I know myself and because I'm respecting my family, I keep them and everything about them and all of that like off the channel. It's not because I don't have a family. Yes, I have a family. I have a loving family. I love them. They love me. Um, but I just choose to keep them off the channel. So if you was wondering, that's why you never see any of my family. That's why you 99.7% of the time you don't hear me talking about them. That's why. But if they ever say, hey, I want to specifically be mentioned on your videos. or I want to specifically show my face on your video. Then... I mean, you know, I, I leave that up to them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell, share this video, share my channel, share my playlist with everyone you know. And until next time, be safe, be well, and be blessed.